Денис, а ты можешь подготовить файл страховочный the safety tether. Вот этот файл застраховать за мягкую ручку кольца. Safety tether can be attached to a soft handrail ring on one side and the other end should be attached to the MLM handrail. Handrail. Will do. I think that's it. Did you remove the camera or is it inside the bag? Do you have tethers with other hooks? Uh, look for the one in the crew bag, because the tether with hooks uh, will need to be brought inside later. All right, let me just get another one. Well, is your camera on? So we can take that. Денис, тот, который мы брали из крюлок-бэга, но самое главное, чтобы... Тот, который мы взяли из крюлок-бэга, но самое главное, чтобы... Олег, чтобы взять его с range 220? I've actually moved it already. Also, it, it did happen, yes. I just need to keep rotating it. Oh, let's secure it in place first. Yes, it's been secured. But now, where shall I secure it? Onto the handrail? Yes. What is that? Is that normal? Is that to be expected? Or will it not? separate or will it stay? You can take the other side of the hook of the same tether to the MLM. All right, let me do that. Let me stretch it out. And for right now, you can use a wire tie and take the MLA cover that you've removed from the ring. It will do. Just you don't need to turn down the ring to the very end. So shall we keep it? Here? Yes. You should take the MLA cover that you have previously removed from the ring and Put it on the wire tie. Okay, just hold it for right now. I'll take the wrench. Holding. All right. Where is your cover? It's right here. Hold it. Hold it. We should take some spare batteries uh, for the EVAs. It's a good lesson. Otherwise, we'll be working on the injector. All right. It is uh, secured with a wire tie the soft MLI, and let me take another hook on this end. All right. You have this tether, and where is it attached to? For the time being, it's going down. So will the ring be staying uh, close by on the handrail? Yes. That is correct. All right, then. It's done. 
and we are removing it. So how many safety tethers do you have? Let me see two. One on the camera and one for the bundle and then that we copy. Then remove the ring. I try to put the ring back on and do two turns. Dennis, so I'm going to unhook yours. The two cosmonauts are uh, continuing to work on uh, the removal of thermal insulation and uh, the removal of a launch right. restraint mechanism from uh, end effector number two on the European robotic arm, one of two identical hands or end effectors on opposite ends of the 36-foot-long arm that is attached to the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. We're at the uh, one hour, 30 minute mark into the spacewalk for today, planned for about six hours and 45 minutes. The major objective is the uh, continuing outfitting of the European robotic arm with the installation of cameras, the testing of a torque mechanism on both of the two end effectors of that arm, and uh, the relocation of an external control panel on the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module to which the arm is affixed. Uh, transportation tether, so it's closer to the MLM shell. We'll do it. Let's see. Sergey, now we need to use the valve or the flap. Yes, and then you need to, exactly, you need to close the... MLI on this side, closer to the edge. Yes, I've got something. Like this is pretty narrow. Is that it? Yes, but it has not been secured yet. All right. Uh, let me secure it in place first. It's possible. On your spacesuit, you will have a message saying that your voltage is low. So right, once it falls below 25, you get a message generated. Yours should be 25.2. No, it shows 25.8. All right, Oleg. In that case, please press on. On this side, then? From this side? Yes. So I am disconnecting the connector on this side. So give me this fabric. This uh, flap, it's interesting, isn't it? Oh, I guess we should have turned it to the opposite side, but the helmets are on this side. But do we have Velcro on the other side? The uh, camera numbers for the helmet cameras uh, that we offered earlier actually are reversed for the cosmonauts. This is the view from Denis Matveyev as uh, he works uh, at uh, one of the two uh, elbow areas of the uh, European robotic arm along with Oleg Artemiev, the Expedition 67 commander. Even in case we need to adjust. So the ring has been removed, the MLI flap is down, so what do we do next? We copy all Oleg, so the ring has been secured. Would you please uh, secure it with the help of the wire ties uh, to the nearby handrail? So we could uh, clearly leave the ring there for some time. What else do we need to do? The start ring, the one that you've taken down, we can put it on the equipment tether closer to the MLM. So we want to make sure they have two points to secure them. You should have time. Okay, now I understand the requirement.
Thank you, Oleg. And Dennis, you can translate 2114, uh, where you were observing uh, the translation of the manipulator. Will do. Let me just hook and unhook. I'm not holding to anything. That's the end. Thank you. So the ring has been secured with the wire tie. Oleg, that sounds great. Thank you so much. So let's uh, translate to handrail 4114. And we are monitoring your progress. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, the two cosmonauts are back uh, on the timeline, having made up uh, for lost time at the beginning of the spacewalk that began a few minutes behind schedule. Now one hour, 36 minutes into the uh, spacewalk. At the bottom uh, of the screen, basically, is Oleg Artemiev uh, wearing the Orlan suit with the red stripes. At the top of your screen, Denise Matveyev, his spacewalking partner in the Orlan suit with the blue stripes. They have installed one of two cameras uh, on the elbow areas of the uh, European robotic arm and have removed uh, thermal insulation and a launch restraint from one of the two end effectors or hands at opposite ends of the arm. Now they'll wait uh, for Sergei Korsakov inside the Russian segment of the station to maneuver the arm into the right configuration and uh, orientation to enable them to install the second of the two elbow cameras uh, called camera light unit number three on uh, the European robotic arm. Oleg. Oleg, ERA is nominal. That is excellent, good news. Oleg, we're taking a break. And Oleg, what is the voltage for the suit? 25.6. 25.6. Transitioning uh, now for a moment uh, to a wider view of the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module. The uh, extended uh, European robotic arm in the foreground, and uh, above it, the two cosmonauts who are working uh, to retrieve equipment for the installation of the second of the two camera light unit elbow cameras that will provide uh, good visual cues uh, in the future for spacewalking tasks outside of the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module. Dennis, can I ask one more time? Uh, 
we have two safety tethers uh, on the bundle. Is that correct? Uh, let me double check, but that's um, what I believe. You just got in between them, that's why you only see one on each side. But there are actually two tethers. Um, they just wrap A good view from Oleg Artemyev's helmet camera as the International Space Station flies 260 statute miles above the North Atlantic. About to begin a uh, northwest to southeasterly trajectory that will carry uh, the International Space Station and its uh, crew members across the northwest coast of Africa. It's kind of uh, easier to carry around because uh, it doesn't uh, flail around as you walk. Yeah, just double hook it and that looks good. That's a good config. Ключ, который Ера 4, которым мы протягивали камеру, он у нас на поршне второй камеры, правильно? And the um. Uh, the safety tether is it attached to, or the equipment tether is attached to um, the camera. So when we change out uh, and install the new camera, what are we going to do with it? We're going to uh, put it back inside um, the crew log bag. Uh, because we might need it um, when we start working um, with um, other equipment, the, uh, namely the um, uh, R and R of the gla glass caps, protective glass caps. Okay. Um, can you check your uh, primary pump um, uh, power switch and see if it's on or not? It's off because um, I'm cons conserving electricity. Copy. But make sure you don't uh, overheat. Um, so far, so good. I, I don't feel uncomfortable, um, especially because um, of the low 
Voltage. Yeah. Um, we usually get a message voltage low at 25 volts. Uh, however, that's very conservative. We still have a lot of margin. Oh, that makes sense. Олег, ты меня спросил, я не разобрал. Да. да. Какой самый большой потребитель в скафандре? So, um, what's um, the biggest power consuming a component of the Orlan suit? А какой меньший расходы? Резервный или would probably guess it's the fan. Примерно одинаковый. Вентиляторы стоят... Um, the fans are installed in parallel, so they're uh, pretty much uh, drawing um, equal power. Yeah, but for some reason it just rose to 25.7. Okay, guys. Um, Sergey is starting to uh, move the arm, so please um, keep your eyes on uh, the arm motion, okay?
How are we doing on the timeline, Sergey? Олег, повтори еще раз, пожалуйста. 